Master. Hey, what's up, guys? Vimp here, coming at you with another video. We're going to be playing Strongold War. So, uh, I'm excited to bring you guys this game once again. We're going to be doing the uh, standard version, or just the regular kind of uh, mode. So, let's see how this goes. This should be one of the uh, tournament games, I hope. Well, I do think. The only problem is the... Um, What's it called? The map creator hasn't answered me whatsoever uh, recently, which kind of sucks. I wish he should would have. So uh, I might consider sw swapping out Stronghold Wars for Gold TD. Let me know what you guys think: Gold TD or Stronghold Wars for the uh, for the tournament. I'm curious to see what your guys' opinion on it. But yeah, if you guys haven't signed up for the tournament yet, uh, please do. It's gonna, all the the information are gonna be pretty much in the down in the description. You guys can go check it out. Sign up for yourselves. Compete with us. Play some of these video games and just you know just be gamers, right? Just have some good old fun. So yeah, let's do that. Hopefully you guys are excited about the uh, tournament as I am. So yeah, let's focus on the game for now. Uh, Stronghold Wars, very straightforward game. We played this a few times on the channel. You guys are probably definitely not new to this. Um, I'll explain that I guess there's my strategy when it comes to, I don't, really, pretty much I don't want to reveal my strategy, but at the, at the same time, it's all in, in good fun, so I definitely do want to talk about what's optimal when I, whenever at least I play this game, but, uh, so basically what I like to do is I like to build in the back, reason being obviously is because, uh, when you build in the back, guys, essentially give yourselves more downtime, so you see a lot of, um, another player, I think his name was Dodo. He used to play this stronghold map remastered quite often. What he was, at least what he he, he used to do is do uh, build in the back, essentially giving him a little bit more time, essentially one or two income timers before me, to uh, actually upgrade. And now I kind of see the lights, and I start to understand how up or good this uh, strategy actually is. So yeah. I'm gonna try to uh, do just that. What we're gonna do here, we don't need to upgrade too much, and now we're gonna start sending some priests, so pressuring the enemies quite a bit. So you can pretty much essentially save your gold early and uh, go for actually two tech ups, which is quite good. Quite good if you ask me. Uh, they seem to be sending a lot of uh, what's it called? Okay, a lot of knights. They're uh, very easily countered by uh, just what one water elemental, so I'm not worried too much about it. So pretty much whenever the uh, so you see I just have so much time to react to situations essentially w that's why I love building in the back just, even we can even slow down things uh, so it's even better for us but as you see one water elementals takes care of uh, pretty much everything so that's why it's so good we seem to be high tier in income pretty much up there which is very good this guy is forced to upgrade quite a bit uh, I mean, upgrading, we did discuss this in, uh, before, about upgrading a lot of, like, lower tier towers, or actually just upgrading one tower. And if I came to the conclusion that upgrading one tower is better, depending on the situation, obviously, but, uh... Yeah, there, there seems to be a lot of lag spikes, which kind of tilts me a little bit. I don't know why there's so many lag spikes, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's. I think it's because of the reforged graphics. But to be honest, I, that's that's why I normally play on classic, just because they're more reliable. Essentially, giving you guys a little bit better of a viewing ex experience, kind of avoiding those uh, lag spikes. So yeah, send some grunts, pressure these guys as much as possible. Um, grunts are obviously very durable to water elementals, so we could might even consider going for next tier. So let's actually start saving a little bit. Send the... Uh, what I like to do is send very low tier, maybe like... Um, Peewees and... Uh, Peewees, I call them Peewees. Footmen! Footmen and uh, peasants essentially giving you... Always increased... Let's actually upgrade some tires and not freaking die. Always giving you extra um, income. But at the same time, you're kind of technically saving, right? So, but you're always increasing your income, slowly but surely, you know what I mean? So that's a really good strategy, you should, guys always should do. But the thing is, you're kind of quote-unquote feeding your enemy, but at the same time, when you think about it, it's also beneficial for you. Because you want to, you want to scale up into the game, right? You want to scale up, you want to win the game, that's pretty much it. So let's see if they're sending grunts, not, okay, now they're starting to send grunts. That's very late when I think about it, because I'm already at tier 5, I could technically be at tier 6 at this point. 
Which I will try to consider doing. We should definitely upgrade our towers, though. A few grunts coming in. Uh, slowly but surely upgrade and send a few units so our income stays a little bit lower. But at the same... Actually, the thing is with doing this strategy when you're kind of saving is you're potentially... How do I say this? I don't know. I don't know if it's optimal, right? I would need to test it out to know if it's fully optimal. Because the thing is, whenever you're sending a lower tier units, essentially all the incomes that you're getting are not optimal, right? You're sent, you're keeping gold. So this gold, instead of being used, quote unquote, like right now, it could be used as income and giving you more gold over time, right? So essentially, kind of exponentially forwarding your lead. But instead, you're kind of uh, Sending a little bit and trying to tech up, but if you do so when you think about it You can technically get ahead because you're getting higher tiers essentially sending higher tier units maybe even uh, Still uh, taking them out, right? So she, You know what I should do is actually um, hockey these um, These towers when I think about it Where should I hockey them? Oh, I might be in trouble I don't think I'll die, but uh, it's gonna be close. That's a big send. Obviously, wizard's super strong. Maybe if I... Hmm, I'm trying to think here. Maybe over here. I'm missing one tower, am I? I cannot hockey them at the same spot. Okay, this should seems to work fine. Okay, so basically I can just have it hockeyed on two and then just switch between it if I need to upgrade. That's really nice. That's gonna save us, save me some mouse movement and stuff. Which is always nice. We can start saving. I, I guess we're gonna just create some pressure at the moment. We're significantly ahead, like 2,000 gold, which is really nice. Two wizards should be plenty, just because they have insane amount of range and good amount of uh, damage. So, pretty much set for a while. Sending an absurd amount of uh, tier 6s. Now we're going to start saving. Should have enough, so let's save, send a little bit. Obviously, do not want to oversave. Essentially, what you want to do is save. You need to kind of <laughs> count what you have. And you basically do not want to oversend. If, if you oversave, guys, you're in trouble. <laughs> Upgrade here. I didn't use the hotkeys for some reason. I missed one income there, which was problematic. So you basically want to count the amount of uh, gold you have and uh, count. Well, let's say your your gold pool is at let's say the upgrade is at twelve thousand or uh, no twenty four k, and you're at your income is at twelve k. Then you want to be saving around twelve k to just balance out pretty much. And you want to send the rest, right? And also, sometimes you can take into account some gold that you will receive from the kills. Kind of advanced strategy, but to be honest, always something to take. Why do I have uh, this one over here? This one's pretty much useless. Should be fine. So in this case, 17. Let's say 18. I need to save a little bit more. Should be fine now. There we go. Now we're gonna get one boat. Should be plenty. I don't even think we need a boat. Let's get one tour and I think we should be fine. Send some good old necros. He's sending necros too. I mean, I do have double his income. Which is crazy, right? You could technically do this, right? You see, I have double his income, but the thing is, this guy is, has the same tech as me. So I could technically tech up even more if I wanted to. But the question remains, is it optimal, right? Let's get a boat quickly. Necros are kind of difficult to deal with, but we should be fine here. Get the splash damage going. Can I even repair with my... Uh, I don't think I can. That's a little bit too low, I think. Let's, let's make sure that we're actually uh, not dying here. Because <laughs> that would be uh, kind of brutal, I'm not going to lie. Sure, we're sending 36k. We could send quite a bit. Okay, let's save here. Sent a little bit too much, but I think we should get enough. Yeah, just with the amount of kills. Perfect. Perfect. 
Well played, Vimp. Well played. Keep sending. Whenever he says start sending revenants, I should be kind of concerned. But that's a lot of freaking uh, necros. Necros are pretty much easy to deal with with boats, so we shouldn't be uh, too much of. Shouldn't be too worried, right? We shouldn't be too worried. I feel like this is a very competitive game. It still can be like super fun in a, like a tournament setting. I don't know how fun it would be. I feel. I still think it could be like a really fun tournament game, right? Upgrade one boat. Uh, yeah, let's go. One more boat, I think. Just, just to be safe. Seventy, so we can save around thirty. Should be good. Tech up. Keep sending. Pretty much send this endless stream of, <laughs> of stop. Right. Revenants inbound. So let's start building some archers. You could technically hold with, uh, what's it called? Only boats. Risky, but doable for sure. Let's actually make sure that we're actually upgrading, because that would be kind of de detrimental if we do not. It's a lot of freaking... Uh, let's go for a few more archers. Just because that's a lot. Ascend, but normally with this amount of archers, we should be in a pretty good spot. What we're gonna do at the same time, make sure that we're upgrading all of our auras. Keep sending. We do have a lot of income, so don't forget, tech up. Do not send golems, pretty much they feed the enemy. Uh, so keep sending. Golems inbound, that's gonna be a lot of gold for me. What we're gonna go do is keep sending revenants. Essentially, these do not feed too much. And lower tier, we can even tack up once more. Insufficient gold. Upgrade complete. Uh, go for it and upgrade Upgrading. once more. And I think that's going to be the last one. I'm going to patiently wait for Upgrade our next complete. tier barracks. Really nice, really nice. Now we can even send some uh, good old... We can even send some uh, Illidans. To be honest, I think that's going to be ideal. Insufficient gold. Let's go for Illidans. I think that's going to be super difficult for them to handle. I mean, they're going to have to build so many archers. Send Illidans and pretty much Nyshas at this point. This should... I should be fine, I think. I'm going to go for a little bit more archers, just to be safe. Build up that economy, but yeah. <laughs> Look at these. Oh wow, he's sending freaking that. Uh, really? He saved up us an insane amount to go for last year. That's crazy. We're actually gonna match him, I think. Let's go for ultimate builder. I don't think we're gonna go with the child push <laughs> as Ember would do it, maybe. I mean, if we want to win this game, no one's sending. I think he's holding his gold for something. I don't know what, but definitely for something, right? My income is uh, decent. I would say I'm 60k ahead from. Yellow, these guys don't really compare, it's just yellow that I'm gonna have to watch. He has a lot of archers in the back. I guess he's saving a lot, that's the only like plausible explanation at the moment. Mm, wanderers, huh? Upgrade complete. I wish only to serve. Job's done. Job's I done. Cannot Job's done. Well done. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. I gladly obey. Could try to do like a pressure push here. Let's go for two more saves. No one's sending, it feels like. Is everyone saving? Is this guy gonna send? Now nah, he's sending demons, you see? So what I'm gonna do is send demons at the same time that he's sending, essentially. So we're gonna double pressure this guy. So now we're gonna just uh, play it safe. We're gonna just upgrade or build a lot of archers. I think... Uh, 
obviously we do not have much of a choice because yellow's push is just gonna pretty much try to suicide at this point. A lot of wonder is incoming, but that's not gonna do much, obviously. I think green should be in a pretty bad spot here. So doing a little bit more saving. Okay, so he has died. I think now he's gonna yellow's gonna start sit. No, it's green. Okay, it was pretty much green and um, red sending to me. So now yellow might start saving sending to me. So kind of brace for that. So what I'm gonna do is keep pressure on this guy. Oof, that's really close, guys. That was really close. So now, okay, that's a lot of sense. Let's go for a lot of love upgrades. Illidans, it's not like Illidans will do much, but they shouldn't. So he did send a lot of these demons. Hopefully it's going to be enough. That's a lot of Illidans, though. Hmm. That's kind of close. Okay. <laughs> kind of panicked, I'm not going to lie, but well, it's fine, we're, we're good. Keep upgrading these archers. This has ended up to a pretty good game. I think we're still going to build up that income. Oof. I think they're all upgraded to the max. The problem with free forge is that these um, spots are kind of awkward to see. I don't know. Send a few demons because we want to get them high level. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Maybe this might be the end of me. <laughs> Hopefully it's not, but we'll see. Just play defensive for now. There's no way I actually lose here, right? I do lose. Wow. I'm surprised, actually. Maybe I don't? I'm gonna have to start saving here. Holy she will play it easy. <laughs> He's like GG well played easy. I bow to your will. My fate is sealed. Alright, we're dealing with a trash shocker, guys. You guys know what's up here. My fate is sealed. Job done. Yes, master. Job done. Let's go for one more income. Job's done. Job's done. Send it before him. Job's done. Job's done. All gold is required. Job's done. Job's done. All gold is required. Job's done. Summon there. Job's done. All gold is required. Okay, he's building like crazy. Holy. <laughs> he really doesn't want to lose this. All right, you want to play like that, buddy? We're going to play like that. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Maybe that's oof, that's a lot, damn. Okay. This guy is not to be messed with. No way he wins this, right? Build that income. What am I missing here? Lethality, right? 
Job done. Job done. Upgrade complete. Hmm. Yeah, try our best guys to win this if we can. My life for This guy is going in, okay, respectable, respectable. Okay, we we've we have I mean we are playing against a gamer at the moment, guys. We're playing against a gamer. Let's not mess around. I, I'm I'm try harding my my try hard pants on, are on at the moment. Thy bidding, master. Job done. Job done. Job done. I Job done. Job done. I will Job done. Job done. My fate is summoned there. Job done. 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 there. And that's a lot of them. <laughs> Just Illidans are gonna, he's gonna kill me with Illidan. That's that would be kind of awkward, wouldn't it? It's not it's not getting even through the first layer. What is this? How is this even possible? Okay. Are not my demons not getting through? I don't understand. That's literally absurd. What? What? <laughs> Guys, I mean, I I'm trying my hardest here, but what am I supposed to do? This guy's too good. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how? How are we still playing this, guys? How? Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Okay, now he's now he's doing the Amber strategy. Jesus Christ. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. There's literally no reason for me not to upgrade all of these. Our income is up, but literally absurd at this point. Seems like his d demons are a little bit stronger than mine, or is it just me? Guys, there's not much I could do more than this, to be honest. Misclicking everywhere at this point. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Okay, I'm just gonna send demons. That's it. Hopefully this goes through. Because if this doesn't go through, I, I don't know what to do. Demons! Don't disappoint me. Yes, 
Let's wait before we actually talk trash. <laughs> yes, boys, we freaking did it. <laughs> My God, guys, what just happened? I'm, I do apologize for not like commenting throughout this whole game, but Jesus Christ, what just happened? Guess okay, I do apologize for the BM, guys. I had to do it at the end. I really do have to. <laughs> it's only for entertainment, guys. I do not. Uh, <laughs> I do not stand behind all the BM. If it's if it's kept, you know, uh, civilized, then it's it's good BM. You know what I mean? We didn't say any curse words, we're just, you know, having some good old friendly banter. Shouts to this guy, he played amazingly, so... Considering he was, like, behind so much, I don't know how he came back from that. Holy, what a freaking game! I mean, if this didn't deserve a freaking like, or a subscribe, I don't know what will, guys? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Stronghold Wars. If you guys want to, want to see more of this in the future, let me know down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day or evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. You shall be king.